more than 20 million trees so far. Each and every one of us has a choice to make. There's good karma about what we do. It's a sea of green sprouting from WA's red dirt. 10,000 hectares of actual plantings and nearly 15,000 hectares in the project we believe is, is the biggest of its kind in the world. Kent Broad runs Carbon Neutral, a company on a mission to buy degraded farmland and return it to nature. So these are a bit over three years old, these plantings, and we use between 40 and 50 different species, all locally sourced. We're trying to replicate what was here before. 400 k's northeast of Perth in WA's Midwest, they're planting millions of native trees. All self-seeding, they'll eventually fill in the rows and grow into giants like these. The grand plans for a 200 kilometre highway of trees stretching from coastal Dongra to inland past Perendry. Creating a corridor, a link if you like, where birds and animals can transition through the landscape. We will be spending and are committed to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Austral Fisheries CEO David Carter says by funding carbon neutrals tree planting here in WA's Midwest, it's 100% offsetting carbon emissions Austral's producing here fishing for toothfish in the sub-Antarctic. With zero harm in that, in that sense. So um, we basically, we look at the contribution we make to carbon in the atmosphere and we offset that. To explain it simply, every time something's powered up, it burns fossil fuels, which release carbon or CO2 into the atmosphere, a key cause of global warming. But trees grow by taking in CO2 and holding it as carbon. The more trees, the less pressure on the planet. It sucks immediately carbon out of the atmosphere and stores it for a lifetime. Austral says it's already a leader in sustainable fishing. It takes two scientific observers aboard every ship to monitor its catch. But when each trip is a seven day, 4,000 kilometre journey, there's no escaping its energy intense. We'd be burning seven or eight million litres of diesel a year. Uh, yes, we produce a lot of seafood, but that's also a lot of fuel. And a lot of carbon, about 27,000 tonnes, which means Austral's committed to planting 180,000 trees a year. That's really forever. That's, that's our ongoing commitment. So it also means that we're pretty busy trying to find ways to reduce the amount of carbon emissions that we do create. Under the agreement, the trees that have been planted can't be cut down or destroyed for 100 years. The aims that they lock up carbon for a lifetime. This is actually setting an example and a high benchmark for other corporations to follow. Merrill Halley from WWF says the project is of the highest world standard and crucial because it falls within one of just 35 global hotspots marked by big numbers of rare plants and animals that are also under threat. It will provide habitat for um, a range of species, um, threatened species like the black cockatoo. Have a little taste, Heather. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, our hives, uh, we're looking at uh, getting approximately uh, 200 kilos a year. The project is also creating spin-off industries, including honey, with the newly planted trees attracting big numbers of bees. And we're also looking at uh, manuka honey or manuka honey, which is the super honey. With some of the land covering Aboriginal heritage areas, Clayton Lewis has also been employed to manage reconciliation. Working with uh, not only First Nations people from the region, but also the wider community. So it's got some good karma. Basically, we are hoping to reverse the population drift that's been occurring pretty well across Wheatbelt Australia since the 1980s. And so by establishing these sustainable, profitable businesses, we are hoping to uh, reverse that trend. Kent also has plans to export sandalwood to India and China. Between 15 and 20 years time, that particular tree would be worth somewhere around $200. And uh, if we've planted about 300 a hectare, 200 times 300 is about $60,000 that we'll be able to get off this particular plant. Trees that are making a big difference locally while helping the planet on a global scale. To walk through the forest and hear the birds twittering in the trees, um, it's a fabulous feeling. Mm -hmm.